What up, folks? I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits here with Kitty Cat Midnight, and we're here checking out older video cards to see what we can get working with AI, Alama, and Stable Diffusion. Here you see we got it in. She is running pretty nicely. So here's a system that I'm running it in right now. I just threw it together. Um, cloned hard drive because it has all of the Stable Diffusion and everything running in it automatically. So this is the base mark. Stable Diffusion is actually working with this, and I'm completely surprised. But uh, I wouldn't recommend this unless you were just playing around, really. As you can see here, those are the files that I made, and they're about four hours apart. So a standard 1720 uh, by 1280, sorry, flip that around, image takes four hours to make uh, on one of these older units. Man, I got this love for benchmarking old video cards. I have no idea why. And next we're going to give it a question and we're going to see how long it takes for it to answer that benchmark question. Oh, oh, that was faster than I thought that was going to be. That was a lot faster than I thought that was going to be. So it's fascinating. This is the same computer. I'll ask it the same questions and the same, every, same, same, Malama, everything. And it'll give me different answers. Sometimes it's like if you swap different video cards, it's as if you swap the brain. And all brains are built a little bit differently. I could be completely wrong about all this. Because I'm looking at this as a user perspective and not as uh, an individual who has set this up. But as somebody in my position i am blown away by the differences and parallels between different video cards it's like if i get a different video card i get a different individual a different person and if i switch it with a different ram different cpu it's a complex system that is difference so let's talk about complex system like lieutenant data was a complex system right and that's basically like we're complex systems a whole bunch of things that when you get together, they are better than the individual parts combined. This dingus is a complex system made to be cute, adorable, and get pets, and sometimes annihilate small animals. Like my hand, who's a good kitty cat? Who likes belly rubs? Oh, who likes belly rubs? Always oh, getting warmed up in the murder mode. Oh, I forgot my benchmark question. Who rocked the party that rocked the party? The sentence, who rocked the party that rocked the party? Okay, so my previous statement about never getting the same uh, response. Sometimes with this question, with Olama, with Llama 2, I get the answer that you rock the party. So this is just further proof that my cat is lazy and adorable. The card doesn't really even get very hot, which is remarkable. The thing seems to be running about 100%. It's not very hot, and the fans hardly ever click in. Man, I get my Quadro card up there, and jeez, those things run so freaking fast, they get this heat warning on the side. I'd get up and show you, but then I'd have to ruin this dingus' day, and he'd move, and I don't want to do that. But trust me, there's a heat warning sign on the side of those Quadro cards. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, these gaming cards are remarkably good at gaming. <laughs> I didn't expect uh, 1050 Ti to run this this well legitimately hey what are you getting up for cat next up we got direct x10 going around that tree 30 frames per second okay legitimately this is really freaking good this is really freaking good so um wow wow okay i can see why 30 percent of people are still rocking a 1060 at this point on steam because this is just, this works. This is nice. Okay, now soon we're going to get to the tree that has lots of dark stuff around it. Or was that supposed to be that tree? And it's really difficult. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I gotta say, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with the way that this video card is handling this output. Um, I used to benchmark a lot of laptops. And most new laptops didn't give me this. They didn't give me this smoothness. There'd be like a jagness on this turn here, and things just wouldn't be so nice. I'm just blown away. This is, I think I got this card for like 50 bucks on uh, eBay. And this thing's looking so nice. It's running the LLM. It's not crashing. 
I have Titan cards that crash when trying to run some of this stuff. So if you're trying to get this thing to work on Stable Diffusion, it's probably not going to work unless you have like an older setup. I think you need like uh, the, the basic Stable Diffusion would probably be the best. I'm not sure if I can get this working, but there's I got this older version of Stable Diffusion I got installed on here. Excuse me. And it just works. Oh, I hate it when I sneeze. <laughs> hate sneezing. This is all your fault. I'm allergic to you, but I love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this... Uh, not bad. What the heck? Okay, so I'm a little bit blown away by all this stuff because I'm used to using Quadro cards. I'm used to using other cards. But now that I'm getting into the old-school gaming thing, I'm seeing that Quadro cards aren't just RTX cards that have ECC RAM. It seemed like Linus Tech Tips was trying to say that RTX card... Or, sorry, not RTX, but, like, the 10... 50, 60, you know, 30s, all of those things were basically lower gen quadro cards. But after seeing this, I really get the feeling like this card has stuff in it quadro doesn't have. And the quadro cards are made for CAD and stuff like that. I was to understand quadro was supposed to be the best of the best. Maybe I wasn't particularly wrong, because I'm telling you, I watch quadro, I look at uh, internal cards, and I'm just, I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised with this. So legit, I am blown away by the ability of this unit to impress me. And I am impressed by this unit when it comes to the basics. So apparently the P1000 is supposed to be about the same as this card, but I've used that card, and I'm telling you, it's not as good. So here we can see that the 1050 gets a score of 6.1. 1050 Ti isn't on here, so let's just assume it's 6.1. Looks like the Quadro P1000 is also uh, 6.1. Quadro P1000 looks like it'll cost you about 100 bucks Canadian money. That's what, like 60 bucks American these days. Oh, wow. It looks like if you don't mind bidding, you can definitely score a 1050 uh, for freaking reasonable prices. Wow, nobody's interested in these cards. So in my opinion, animations definitely look better in the RTX. Ah, heck, sorry, I should say in the GeForce. I keep wanting to say GeForce for some reason. Old school. Old school mistake. Damn, I can't get over how much better it seems to look. Oh, okay, now here's the caveat. When the, when the orb comes down... Oh, I missed the orb. The orb wasn't as round as it would have been in a quadro. It doesn't matter. So here's my overall pass mark benchmark I, don't know, I didn't really mean to get into a gaming benchmark but geez i think it's really interesting how smooth things are in these rtx or R i keep calling them rtx g-force anyways folks that's it from me now from those tech bits have a good one and take care of each other folks